Welcome to the Superior Dome. It's homecoming here in Marquette as the Northern Michigan Wildcats square off with the Saginaw Valley State Cardinals. Thank you for joining us alongside Joe Dexter. I'm Pete Francis. And Joe, the key for the Wildcats today is star running back Mark Boussois. I'll tell you what, Pete, it sure is. And Boussois, he's the horse of this offense. And you look at this defense, Saginaw Valley, 12th in the GLIAC in rushing defense. So they're last in the conference. They're going to be able to run the ball 215 yards a game given up by the Cardinals. And you know what? Carter Kopach's also going to be an issue here because Carter Kopach can run with his legs at the quarterback position. Well, it should be a great game. The Cardinals and the Wildcats. It's coming up next. We're just about ready to go here in Marquette. Fred Wells is back for the Wildcats as well as Brandon Smith. And here's the kick. Wells takes it at the nine. Goes outside to the 25. And it's a fumble and it goes out of bounds. NMU's first possession will start at the 26 yard line. And here comes Carter Kopak, the redshirt freshman out of Mount Carmel High School in Chicago. The same high school as Philadelphia Eagles quarterback Donovan McNabb. And you know what, PD he's had a lot of success at Mount Carmel. Two state, straight, excuse me, state runs. Lost in the championship game, though. Let's see what he can do tonight. Boussois lined up in the backfield. Wells and uh, Nichols are the receivers. And Boussois gets the carry for a couple. Second and nine now for the Wildcats. We're going to see a lot of running today from Mark Boussois, Carter Kopak, Brandon Smith will probably get a couple carries in this game simply because... That's how they're going to win today. Yeah, Maurice Williams and Brandon Van Effen are both out today for the Wildcats. So Brandon Smith should see some action. Kopak throws it out to Nichols, and he's taken down for a short game. Saginaw Valley State Cardinals, second in the GLIAC in pass defense, and but they've only intercepted the ball once. A guy like Zach Nichols is going to get a lot of receptions in a game like this. Well, that'll bring up third and seven now for the NMU offense at the 29-yard line. Branchow, Nichols, and Wells are the receivers. Boussois is in the backfield. Kopak rolls to his left, and he throws it to Nichols. It's complete, and he's tackled at the 44-yard line. like the NMU offense running something that's not so similar to the regular pro style offense that they're used to running. Maybe we'll see a little bit more option plays today. Well it's first and ten now for the Wildcats. Ball at the 45 yard line. Tyler Schrauben now is in the game at receiver. Kopak rolls right and he's going to take off for a run and he goes out of bounds for a short game. Interesting offensive spread for the Wildcats. Four wide receivers out there. And you see Carter Kopak. he's going to be able to make a lot of decisions today. Does he run, does he throw? And that's going to be great for the Wildcat offense. Well, that'll bring up second and seven at the 48. Wells, Branchow, and Nichols are the receivers. Boussois on the backfield. Kopak hits Branchow. And he's ta tackled for a short game. So far in this game, we've seen a lot of small offensive plays, nothing big downfield, but they're moving the ball pretty well in this first drive so far. 12.52 here to go in the first quarter. Third and six on the 49-yard line for NMU. Kopak rolls right. He's going to run. And he's tackled for no gain. That'll bring on the punting unit for NMU. The 
key part of this game for the Wildcats is going to be special teams. We've seen both these teams on the kickoff return. They, have, they don't average a lot of yards on the return. Only 15 for the Saginaw Valley Cardinals and only 17 for the Wildcats. Carl Grimes is back to return for Saginaw Valley. Garrett Peck is punting. And Grimes calls for a fair catch. Grimes, fair catch. The Saginaw Valley State Cardinals will come in with the spread offense, led by quarterback Dan Stiegel. So this will be interesting. Saginaw Valley will begin their possession at the 17-yard line. 11.48 to go here in the first quarter. Brandon Emmett's lined up in the backfield. And he gets the carry, and he picks up a couple. The Saginaw Valley State offense will run a pretty balanced offense, but according to quarterback Dan Stiefel, this, this is a very quarterback-friendly offense. Last year in his only start against Hillsdale, he threw for 397 yards. So watch for the ball to be in the air quite a lot today. Second and seven now for Saginaw Valley. Stiefel hands it off again, and this time they're stopped for a short game. That'll bring up third down. It's going to be very important for the NMU defensive line to be up on the ball a lot today. With that spread offense, you don't want to spread yourself out too much, but you're going to have to rush a lot. And you might see defensive coordinator Rodney Ari running a lot of blitzes tonight. Well, last year, Saginaw Valley gave... Uh, NMU a handful with Brandon Emmett on the ground. He had three touchdowns and 114 yards rushing in a Saginaw Valley win last year against the Wildcats. Stiefel rolls to the right, and the pass is complete. And a tackle made by Andrew Strobel. And that'll be enough for a first down. I'll tell you what, Pete. For a sophomore quarterback, that was a very mature thing to do. He loses the snap, fumbles it, bubbles it a little bit, picks it up, and he gains momentum. He just relaxes back there, throws, and catches the receiver. Galen Stone made the reception for Saginaw Valley. First and ten now for the Cardinals at the 35-yard line. We talk about experience with these quarterbacks. The Saginaw Valley State uh, team does not have very much leadership at quarterback. Saginaw Valley calls a timeout. Well, Joe, one of the intriguing storylines of the day is NMU defensive coordinator Randy Ari going against his old team, Saginaw Valley. Ari was the winningest coach in the history of the Saginaw Valley State program. Yeah, he, he was over there for nine years. He did a wonderful job. Just a little situation with Saginaw Valley and himself dealing with harder agreements and such. And it's a sad thing to see, but you know what? For the enemy defense, they have to be happy today. Randy Ari is going to blitz a lot today because the Saginaw Valley offensive line gives up the most sacks in the GLIAC. So we're going to see a lot of blitzes. Maybe he can get back at his former today. Yeah, well, Saginaw Valley State's new head coach, Jim Collins, comes to SVSU Capital University in Ohio. The last five years, his teams had a 44-13 and 13 record and reached the D3 playoffs each of the last three years. He's an offensive-minded coach, and he's known for running a lot of no-huddle offense, so we'll see how that goes today. First and 10 now at the 35 for the Cardinals. <laughs> 